Uh, I work out of the Port Townsend office for Fish and Wildlife and we're out here doing crab test fishing in Port Townsend Bay and uh, we come out, we've been doing these stations uh, since 2001. We do pre-season and post-season testing. So what we're doing is pulling up a pot, measuring the carapace shell as well as checking for shell hardness. Alright, so this is showing the difference between a male dungeness and a female dungeness. So you can see the, the broader tail flap on the female and that's for protecting their eggs when they have eggs. This one does not right now. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife works closely alongside tribes and commercial crab businesses to control how many crabs are harvested. One five zero, male, red rock. Male Dungeness, one eight two, no needles, no limb loss. Yeah, some of the information we collect uh, is uh, crab size, the crab sex, the crab species. Today we were running into a red rock crab uh, and a dunge nest crab. And, uh, and we, uh, that enables us to get an idea of the catch per unit effort that we would see in a standardized fishery. Um, another really important part of the work that I do is to have like tangible connection to what I'm working on and so like being able to hold the crab, you know, see them and feel them and then also know that the decisions that I'm making as a manager is like making impact on people's lives, you know, so like we manage commercial fisheries and so that's really an important, um, you know, uh, economic driver of our communities and so I get to, um, you know, connect, direct, directly connect to that the group of stakeholders and constituents, and that's really rewarding for me. I really appreciate the opportunity to do that. Commercial and tribal fishers work our state's waters to deliver local, sustainable Dungeness crab to markets across Washington. Commercial crabbers drive about $80 million of economic benefit in Washington each year. Their work is also a rich part of our state's coastal heritage.